Hello, so this is part 13 of my making my Ashen Moon cosplay. I am going to be sanding and gluing the shoulders so I can get them plastic dipped and ready to paint and do my ideas and sharp and finish them. So I think I said before, I haven't worked on these shoulders since part like three, I believe, three or four. Um, I said there, were going, there was going to be several parts of these. These are like, there's a lot of pieces. I think there's like 24, 25 pieces just in the foam for these, for each. And then we'll have some plastics and other things I have to add as well. So they're going to take a while. Then this part of the, this part of my video series for this, we're going to be doing the sanding and the gluing. So I already did one here and we're going to do the other one. But there are three main parts and then a ton of little tiny parts. So this is our front piece here and I have it all sanded and ready to go. And then the middle piece that goes behind it. So it's going to go something like this, which I'm going to heat form it again. And then our back piece is the little tiny guy here. And he goes somewhere about here. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to get it to this point, And then I'm also, depending on time, going to go ahead and glue them together and fill in our little gaps. And pretty much just have this all together as one piece so I can go plasti dip it before we do the other steps. And all the rest of the steps will be in a different video. I'll probably plasti dip off screen like I usually do since I do it outside in a box. And then painting and all that will be in a separate video because it's going to take a while. But yeah, so we're going to do all the sanding. I sand these to all be beveled edges. I don't know if you can tell, but these are all bevels. And it would have helped if I cut them out as bevels, but I didn't, so I have boxy shapes that I got turned into bevels. So, I've got them all cut out here, so that everything's to the same point that we were in in part three, I believe it was, and I was cutting everything out before. So we'll get to sanding. Okay, and here we go. So, um, I am going ahead and gluing a couple of these pieces together. Um, some of these pieces I cut into separate pieces could have been together to begin with. So, I decided it'd be easier if I went ahead and glued these little matching pieces together before I start sanding. So, that's off to the side where I do that. And, um, a lot of these pieces, before I actually glue them to the main pieces, I'm going ahead and getting those beveled edges with my Dremel. And I didn't say in this part yet, I did back in part three when I was cutting these out, but I'm using six millimeter foam um, from TNT Cosplay. I'll have that linked below. And that's pretty much what I use for everything. I do have some two millimeter foam that I use for little detail pieces uh, towards the end. But yeah, I have all lots and lots of pieces here that are very boxy that I've got to make into more like triangular shapes, get those flat edges there. So lots of sanding in this part. And lots of pieces. It would have definitely helped if I didn't do beveled cuts to begin with, but um, I didn't, so more work at this point. And to make sure the pieces match up, since I don't have them glued together to begin with, um, I'm just kind of using a sharpie to mark where lines need to be to help me sand things to line things up better. So here I have those pieces I was talking about. I went ahead and glued those two pieces there together, and I'm just beveling them. So really, I didn't have to cut out quite as many pieces as I did, but I I did, so we're fixing that now. Just by gluing it together. So now we're doing the sanding. Lots and lots of sanding. So much sanding. So yeah, this video is pretty much all sanding and gluing things together and kind of showing how I bring together the shape of these shoulders. And then in the next part, I'll be painting them, adding little plastic bits for the bits for the LEDs and the LEDs, and pretty much just finishing them all around. Other than I don't think I'm doing the little strappy pieces. Um, they're pretty much decorations that are added on later. I don't think I do those in the video. So yeah, now I'm putting glue gluing things onto the main shape here. And once I have these main pieces glued together, I go ahead and trim all around all the edges to finish off my trim. My bevels and sand down to smooth out the edges as well. So that's what I'm working on now is getting these 
little pieces glued on there. So I glued the little pieces together first and then I glue them onto the main piece. And that's this very back piece have its pieces on and now this is the middle piece that I'm putting all the pieces on. And then it's the front piece that has a ton of pieces. So this is where we are so fast. far. Haven't touched this piece yet. We'll get there. Um, but I went ahead and did these guys. So on this piece, the, this is the bottom piece. All that's left is smoothing out these edges here and then rounding this tiny, tiny bit. Um, just barely just to take care of that seam like I did on this one. So I just gotta do that. A little more smoothing. And then on this middle piece, same thing, I'll take care of these edges. Um, I didn't finish smoothing some of these pieces out, so we'll go ahead and do that where these were really small. It'll be easier once they're glued on here. Kept throwing them with the Dremel. So yeah, just smooth these pieces out and smooth these little edges, even them up a little bit. I did make a little oopsie while cutting this out, but I'm just gonna put quick seal in there once we're done sun sanding everything and have it ready for plastic up. Right before I do plastic up, I'll do the quick seal to fill in this gap, so that's fine. Um, same th thing here. I didn't smooth out the edges, so we'll have to do that. And then take care of that little seam. And then I didn't do this side. It's, this is supposed to be beveled too, right along this line right here. So this should be angled, and I'm gonna do that now that this is glued on here and then even that up since we're a little hanging over a little bit so that it will be like this piece over here trying to here we go I'll focus hi Felina so and then once I do that I'm gonna move on to this piece and get it like this I haven't done the little I do a little cut in the back for the middle piece and this to get me, and I stuck hot glue in there because I made it too wide, to give it a little bit of that bent look. So here's that one. And it is really awkward to try to stand in here, so I tried to make sure I got this as smooth as possible this time. Uh, I didn't do it on this one, it was a bit rough. So, yeah, then we'll do this one to look like this. Lots and lots of beveled edges. This is the only part that's like smooth on the inside all the way around, and then right here it's not beveled either. And then it'll be time to glue everything together. We're gonna do that too. Pretty much we're doing everything, and I'll do, probably go ahead and do the quick seal in video too, I'm pretty sure, but we won't do plastic up. So we're gonna do everything up to the point that's ready for plastic dip. And then that'll be the end of this video, and we'll get on to painting in another video. But yeah, we're going to continue this. Video's not over yet. We have all of this to do until it gets to that point there, and then I'll connect them all together. And it's time for more sanding. I pretty much explained what I'm going to do already, so I'm just going around those edges, smoothing them out, and beveling some last little bits of edges as well. And I do use three different grits of that um, sanding barrel there. I use 120... 180. So I start at 80 and then move my way down to these finer grit one to really smooth things out. And here I'm cutting out that little trench there so I can get these kind of in a bent shape. Um, the character in the game, if you really look from the side view and such, hers is very flat but she's also a panther. So her shoulders are flat as well and it, it works on a panther body. On my body it looked really awkward so I decided to give it that bent look in there to kind of wrap around my shoulders a little bit not too much though and now we're finally working on that front piece and as I said more sanding so now I'm sanding these pieces for that uh, front piece there and it's going by a little quicker I'm slowly getting more comfortable with the journal so I'm turning up the speed a little more here and there which Allows me to sand a lot faster. And as I said, I'm going to start with that 80 grit sanding barrel, then the 100, and then the 120. Oh, and then I skipped over because I wanted to take a break from that. I am making the pattern for my detail piece. Um, 
and I'm doing it using painter's tape. This will have two millimeter foam that I have a little design that goes on. And if you're wondering why that's covered in white stuff, that is quick seal. I was filling in all my little edges and caps and all of that. I did make a mess up and get too much on there, but I smoothed it all out, so it's fine. So this is how I do a lot of my pattern making. So in here I'm just sticking the paint on there and then I'll carefully peel it off and put it on paper, trace it and cut it out. You'll see that in a moment. So actually here instead of paper I did um, poster board, so it's a little stiffer there. And then cut it out. And then I labeled what sides were left and what sides were right. And then I'm tracing it here on the two millimeter foam. I'm cutting it out. I'm doing a very slight bevel, very slight. I want those edges to be rounded off a little bit, except for um, the part that goes around the ladies. So here I have freehanded the design, and I'm very carefully having my exacto knife on the angle, cutting out the details. So they need to be sunken in a little bit. So this was a very tedious part. And then I had to try to do the same exact same same exact thing for the other shoulder too. And then I went around and sanded all the edges. I think I just went ahead and started with the 120 um, barrel and just smoothed everything out. It's only two, two millimeters, so there isn't a lot to do with it. And I kept trying it on the main piece there to see if I need to make any adjustments. This was also very difficult, those swirly bits. And now I'm getting ready to glue those little bits together for the main piece as well as glue that little design layer of two, layer of two millimeter foam to the other shoulder. And I do let contact cement set long enough that it's not tacky anymore. So good 15-20 minutes, but it really depends on the weather and such. I've noticed how it's, war how it's warmer out, uh, the timing's a little different. Here I've already glued the little pieces together and I'm putting glue on the back of them and the main piece to glue the middle pieces onto the main piece and I just glued the 2mm foam onto the other main piece. Okay, so this guy is pretty much ready for plastic up now. I just need to cut this down a little bit down in here, the black side, and this is what it looks like on the inside here. I'm going to do a little more in here, for the have room for the LEDs. but. Um, <clears throat> the black's kind of coming up through the white, so I'm going to mess with this opening here a little bit just to get that out of the way, but otherwise it's pretty good. So, I'll do that, and then this will be ready for plastic dip and painting. Then on our other one that we're working on here, as I said, these ones are ready to go. Um, these will go in here about like this. I need to actually sand this piece down, I see. I missed that. So it needs to go there. Alright, okay. so I do have to sand this one. Just through here, I forgot to trim that off there. But this one is good, and it'll go on here about like that once it's trimmed down. And then this piece, we need to trim down all around the edges here. I haven't done them at all. So, still a good bit of sanding to do. Might as well go in here. About like that. Am I in the camera? I think so. So the only thing left I have to cut out is another two millimeter um, layer for this doodad here for this piece. And finish sanding that and glue it together. 
so I'm about to do that. Um, I did want to mention, I believe I'm using 6mm foam for the black EVA foam, and the EVA foam I'm using here, the 2mm, it's a high density one. I tried to get away with craft foam at first because I didn't need a lot of it, um, but whenever I tried to sand it, it just ripped it apart. So I went with a high density one so I can actually cut bevels, I can sand it, and all is good. So it's way easier to work with than craft foam, even though it's the same, oh, just as wide, only 2 millimeters. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. And I don't know. Yeah, it's like a circle cut out, and then this kind of comes up. And then I'm going to add a little bit more foam in here to separate the top and bottom a little bit. Um, not too much, but just a little bit to build around here because this I'm going to have a covering over that I don't want light to show from beside my shoulders. I just want to show from this side. I don't want it coming around the sides here. And since over my shoulder will be black too, that purple will be noticeable. So I want to make sure I have that good. And then we'll figure out the harness system. These are going to hook on by, I am going to have like an under armor type deal. Um, some spandex that I will wear over my arms and under over my legs. Not quite like a shirt that you guys will see whenever I get to that point. Where I have, I'll have um, snaps sewn on. There'll be a snap for both my bracers to keep them up because they do want to slide down. And then for these, I think I'm going to have a snap somewhere in this area just to keep this down. But then up here, um, the character, you can tell, has these straps similar to what I have for my belt and such. I'm going to use the same faux leather for that. Um, that goes across their shoulders, something like this harness type deal to hold these up where I want them. But I am going to reinforce with a snap here and maybe up here. We'll see how it sets just to make sure these aren't sliding around. I'm going to keep them in place no matter how I'm moving my arms around and such. So we'll see. I'm pretty much playing snaps on everything. We're back to sanding, yeah. So I'm finishing that little edge I forgot about earlier, beveling it a little bit, smoothing it out. And then I am, here we go, we're working on that main piece. I'm doing all the edges. There's some bevels, some of it's like slightly beveled, slightly straight. Um, so I'm just going to rounding either beveling or just smoothing it out. And then once we get done with all that, I can glue everything together. Here I changed a bit, so I'm going with a smoother one to smooth things out better. And here I'm just using pins to um, kind of pin things together and make sure I can see where I need to put glue, where I need to make any adjustments, so time to glue everything together. I'm using those popsicle sticks just to make sure it doesn't all stick together at once, because if it's together, it's kind of together, you're not really moving it. So I use the popsicle sticks to pop things, uh, keep things separate while I work on one piece and then the other. or one side and then another to get um, everything, lined up, li everything lined up right in here. I'm trying to make sure I match that first one as close as possible. I think I got them pretty close. So I'm going to do some quick seal, fill in those gaps. Um, there's a little um, seams, fill in the seams so they blend in. So they're almost done. So okay, so that's going to be dry. it for this video. Um, I'm going to show these real quick. The quick seal is still drying on these, but I'll just carefully pick them up. So this was the one they already had pretty much done other than this layer right here. The um, 2 millimeter foam. So I went ahead and showed that on this one though, so I'm not going to bother showing you that on this because it did take a while. So I'm just going to carve out those areas and then sand them and then glue it on here just how, how I have it on this one. So I have the edges rounded a little bit except for right in here. I need to do a little more smoothie in 
in here. Um, all that white stuff all over this is just the quick seal. I added a few, a little bit more over in here because I had a gap, so I used it to fill in gaps as well. I think I need to add more up here actually. So I'll probably go over that, fill in those gaps. Um, yeah, that was the left one. We started with the left one already ready to go pretty much. And then this is the right one that we've been working on during this video. So it's up to that stage two. Once the quick, uh, quick seal is dry, it'll be ready for this. So I'll do that and then they'll look just the same. They'll be at the same step. So, and I'll wait as this dries and see if I need to put any more in there. Looks like I need to smooth out a couple spots still, but that's okay. I can do that. It's still wet. It's going to take a little while to dry. But yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, off screen, I'm going to plastic tip these both in a couple of days. I'm going to give them some time to dry, make sure it's all good. But yeah, so after it's plastic dipped and then that dries for a couple of days, um, I'll be painting these. So that'll be the next part. Um, I would say the video for that will be just painting, and like I did with the bracers, I'll probably go ahead and paint one and then use that as a reference and then paint the second one on video. And then the following video will be when we're doing the LEDs and attachments and all the stuff I need to put on the back so it sits on my arm right. Today I did go ahead and make my little Under Armour deal. Um, it's not going to make any sense to look at really without me wearing it. But basically they're just sleeves. They just cover my forearm. I'm going to have snaps on them. So, but it's like a spandexy, very stretchy material. So that will be covering my arms, and I'll have snaps on there, and then snaps on my bracers to keep them up, because they do slide down a little bit. And then snaps on these to kind of help keep them in place, and then we'll also have straps um, that will cross, that'll be visible that will cross my body, just because that's how the character is as well. I'll connect both of these. So then I'll be another video. But we're making progress, and I think once these guys are done, um, I'm either going to go back to working on the ears here, because I still haven't painted those, or I'm going to be working on the gauntlets, because I can't finish my Under Armour stuff without making the gauntlets, or at least starting them, because um, I'm using the same sort of material for the base of my gauntlets, and I plan on having zippers around my wrist to connect the two. That way I can take them off. To eat and such. That's one thing I don't like about bodysuits is that usually the gloves don't detach. So this isn't a bodysuit, but it's like parts of a bodysuit. Like I'll have these on my legs as well to hold armor up and such. So yeah, I'm going to finish smoothing these out a little bit. I see a couple spots I need to smooth out. And then I'll finish the white two millimeter piece to put on here once that's dry. But yeah, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out my Instagram to see behind the scenes daily stuff. When I, anytime I'm working on these, I do pictures and videos and such on my Instagram. So you can see that stuff way ahead of time from when I make videos. You usually see stuff from this weeks before you'll see my video up on YouTube. So you can follow along a little better there. Plus pets. The parrots and the cats are on there. Um, and then also I'll have link below where I got to my all my all my phone all my phones from TNT cosplay supply so they'll be linked below. Um, quick seal. I'll probably do an Amazon link or something for this, but I got mine at Walmart. And then contact cement. I recommend using barge. I'm not using barge because I can't get it locally, so I went with what I could get from locally, and that's kind of like your next best thing. It's still contact cement though. So, I don't think there's anything else we need to link or anything for this video, but if there are, I'll think of it and I'll put it down below. And I always put a link in the description box of my playlist where you can find all of these videos together. Just for my Ash Shemaine cosplay, that's all the videos they are in that one, uh, in the one playlist. I apparently attacked my mat here today. But yeah, so... This is looking like it's probably going to be like a 20 part series. I think we're on 13 is what I said for this one. So yeah, it's going to be a long one. It's probably the biggest cosplay I've done. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.